As you know, today is All Saints Sunday, the day in which we gather together and celebrate and we grieve the lives and the legacies that we've lost this last year. Many of us have lost family, friends, some have lost spouses and children and neighbors. And the world has lost many that we will never know. We've lost those who are near and dear to us, and we've lost people we wish we would have known better. And today we grieve these losses, but we also celebrate their memories. We celebrate the memories we have of those that we loved. The beautiful, beautiful thing about All Saints Sunday is we give ourselves permission to grieve and to celebrate, to tell stories and to remember the legacies that our saints have passed on to us. I can't help but find myself at funerals. I can't help but be reminded of the impact that people have on the world around us. And see, All Saints Sunday, well, it's, it's one more intentional time that we come together and we celebrate a life well lived and we grieve the loss of this last year and the years before. One more time. And I think that's good. I think that's healthy. I I, I love that, just that opportunity to be in that place. And so days like today, I can't help but think about legacy. The legacy that our saints, well, that they've left on our church and our community. And in return, I can't help but think about the legacy each of you leave for your family, for your church, and for your community. And then I become a little selfish and I begin to think about me and the legacy that I leave for my family, for my church, and for the many communities I've had the honor of serving. That's a lot for all of us. That's a lot to think about. Not only as a pastor and not only as people who sit in pews and not only as husbands and wives and fathers and mothers, community members and leaders, and simply as followers of Christ. That's a lot to think about this legacy that we leave. I think it's safe to say I think it's safe to say that in this room today, we are here because there was a saint in our life that brought us. Whether it was an invitation, whether they jerk us kicking and screaming, whatever it is, we're here today because someone thought it was important enough for us to be here. Because what we want to do is, as we come to church, I I think we want to make the world a better place. And I think the, the church is an important start, an important piece to that. And so I think that's why we gather, at least one of the reasons. The legacy that we leave, well, it makes me think of this scripture that was read this morning. This conversation that Jesus has with the disciples. And it's this long, long conversation of, I'm going away, but it's going to be okay. And the disciples like normal, they don't understand why. They're, they're, they argue with Jesus of why do you have to go? Where are you going? What's going on? And Jesus says, it's okay. Don't be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me also. He says, my father's house has room to spare. And if that weren't the case, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? He says, when I go and prepare a place for you, I will return to be with you so that you know where you know where I'm going and so you'll know that I'm there too it says you know the place I'm going and then the disciples argue they don't get it Jesus says I'm going to go be away and they're like well where are you going why do you have to go what's going on but Jesus reassures them reassures them that the legacy of his teachings of his actions, and a little bit of foreshadowing to the resurrection. He says, you have all that you need. It's going to be okay. And for us, let's put ourselves in the disciples' shoes for a minute. If Jesus were here and he said, I'm going to go, 
I'm going to go over here for a little bit, but I'll be back. And if we had all of this, this walking with Jesus, being with them for three years and doing all of the stuff that they did, and Jesus is finally saying, I'm going to go away. It's really easy to understand where the disciples come from, but where are you going? Why? And Jesus reassures them. It's okay. Trust in God. You have all that you need. And so that brings me back here to us in this room. And I want you to think for a moment. I want you to think about the saints in your lives. Who are they? Who are those saints in your life? What did they teach you? Now I want you to consider for a moment those who look at you as saints in their lives. What legacy are you passing on to them? Is your legacy one that you hope to pass on to someone else? Do you hope that it continues? And what kind of legacy are you passing down to those who are beginning to build theirs? See, the church has been doing this for a long time. They've been taking the building blocks of our saints forever, for far longer than we've been here and far longer after we are gone. The legacies that we leave become building blocks. We build upon them. I've served a lot of churches in a lot of different places, and not one of them has drawn back to the legacy like you all have, who look back to Brother Van riding his horse, going around, preaching the gospel and singing. We have taken those building blocks and we build upon them for the last 128 years. Church, that's a lot of legacy. And that's a legacy to be proud of, to add to, to carry into the future. It's wonderful. Now here's where this comes in. Here's why I moved you. This is our legacy. Where you're sitting, you're sitting by age groups. Here are rows of our saints who have gone on before us. Those who have left this world, those who taught us how to love, taught us about grace, who taught us about the nature of God, they are here. They are here in these pews. And we celebrate them today. They are our saints. They have helped the legacy of this church over 128 years and then some to be here today, right now. And they have heard Jesus say, well done, good and faithful servant. We take their legacies into our hearts and we share that with the people around us. And now our next group. My grandmother always told me it was in poor form to ask people their ages, especially ladies, and so I am not looking where you're sitting. She would be mad at me. You, that sit in these pews right here, you are our saints before us today here sitting among us. All of those who sit behind you, they're looking to you. They're looking at your legacy that lives here today. You're hearing your stories. They're seeing how you treat one another, how you love your community and your family. You are our living saint. Thank you. I want you to stand up for a minute. All of you who are in these these two rows, I won't name ages. I want you to stand up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. And I want you to turn around and look at the people behind you. Turn around, look at the people behind you. And I want you to hear this. Well done, 
good and faithful servant. Thank you for your legacies because these people are looking at you and they are thankful. Thank you. Y'all can sit down. Y'all can sit down. See, we build on the blocks of our saints who have gone on before us, our saints who are with us, and we come back here to this section of pews. You are our saints who are leading us right now. You are the saints who are active in our communities and active in our churches and are leading us into the coming days. These row of saints here, they're passing the blocks back and you are building upon them. Your legacies certainly are set in stone, but you're still building. You're still working. And yet you're looking towards these rows and you'll soon join them, beginning to pass the blocks back, to join the living saints here again, passing your legacies on. Thank you for all the work that you do and continue to do in the leadership that you have. Thank you. I want to have you stand up in those rows. And I want you to look in front of you and I want you to look behind you and see the saints who have taught you and see the saints that you are teaching. You may sit down. The saints behind you are looking towards you as well. And I'm going to stand back here with my saints. These are the saints who are building their legacy, who are looking to you, who are looking at your legacies, all that you have taught about love and grace, about your neighbors, about God, about family, about farming, about everything. They are looking at you going, how do I do this? And they were taking the blocks of everything that you've taught them and they're working hard to build a legacy of their own, a legacy that they're proud of to pass on to the people who sit behind them. See, this is an hard age group. This is 55 to birth. There's a lot of legacy to be built. There's a lot of legacy already there. And church, I want you to look back here for a moment. These last few pews are not the future of your church. Each and every one of these pews in this church is the past and the present of your church. Each of them has their place. Each of them has their ministry. And each of them build upon one another for the future who sits out here, who is not here yet, who are days and years down the line. Church, we have a legacy. Each and every group here builds upon that legacy. Each and every person in here is a saint. Some of those have gone on before us. Others are in the back just learning. And it's all of us together that teach, to have those moments that we pass down good, bad, right, and wrong, and we build upon them, hoping that the next generation has a legacy to build upon as well. Thank you for all of your hard work that you've done in this church, that you've done in our communities, that you've done in your families. Thank you for being the saints that we need. I hope that the legacy that we build as a church, as a people, as followers of Christ, I hope It is to act in grace and to love. As we turn, as we stand up and we turn around and we see the folks behind us, as we see the empty pews in front of us, as we look from the very back all the way to front, we see the wisdom that is before us. Oh, that's a beautiful thing but it's really easy to start become and become like the disciples, to get worried about how many pews we have up here that are empty and how many pews we have back there that are empty. It's really, really easy to think, well, what is this all about? We hear that in the disciples. 
We sometimes hear that within our pews and within our church and within our community is it's getting smaller. But I want you to hear me say this. That no matter where you sit in the church, no matter where your pew is normally or today, no matter how many are empty up here or back there, I'll tell you one thing, the church is not dying. And I believe that with everything that I am or I wouldn't stand here before you. What it does mean we have work to do, church. We have work to do. And our legacy is to share the love and grace of God in a multitude of ways. Sometimes that's here in church, in worship. Other times that's out in the bar or in the, cor- in the fields or in a combine or in our homes or in the grocery store or in the restaurant or wherever we find ourselves. Our job is to share the love and grace of God wherever we are. And if that means people come here to worship, great. If it means they don't, but they feel and see the love of Christ, wonderful. That is the legacy that we build, church. It is ultimately pass that on with love and grace to the people who sit behind us so that then they can build on it and then they can build on it and they build on it. We've been doing it for hundreds of years and we will continue to do it. This is what John's gospel is saying. See, these disciples, they were worried about Jesus going, going to be in these rows of the saint who has gone on before us. They worried about that. What do we do now when they're gone? Jesus says, I will return. I've given you all you need. I will be with you. Let us not be like the disciples in these moments, worried about who's not here. Let us worry about who's in front of us, who is with us, whether it's here or in the field or at work or wherever we find ourselves. Let's worry about them there. John 14, 1 1 through 4, hear it again. Don't be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. My father's house has room to spare. If that weren't the case, would I have told you that? I'm going to prepare a place for you. When I go to prepare a place, you will return and take you with me so that where I am, you will be too. You know the place that I am going. You know the place I am going. Have hope, Jesus says. I've taught you all that you need. I have left the legacy of love and grace with you here and now. Now go and share it. Pass that hope on to the world to make a difference. He says, don't be troubled. Trust in God. Our saints, they have gone on before us. They had faith. I would venture to say that because of them, we are here today. They pass that faith on to us and we will pass it on to those who sit behind us and they will pass it on to those that sit behind them. All Saints Sunday is a day in which we grieve all of this, but we also celebrate it too. It is a time where we remember all that our saints have taught us and then I hope, I hope that that not only brings us hope, for today, but it brings us hope for tomorrow. That we see the people around us and we share that legacy, that we build upon it. But building a legacy is tough, church. It's tough work. And I assure you that it doesn't end in these pews. These pews are simply the beginning. So no matter where you sit today, or any given Sunday. Know that your legacy has a tremendous impact on this world. And I hope you will follow your saints, all who are before you. When you hear the words of Christ, don't be troubled, trust in God. Because there is much, much, much beautiful work to do. And so we fill these pews. We build upon the legacies that these have shared with us and passed down. 
We build upon the legacies that our saints who are with us continue to share. We pass those down. We build upon our own legacies. We pass those back all the way back here to the back of the church. Remembering that all of the saints who have gone before us, well, they've witnessed. They've had heartache. They've had joy. They've been through it all. And so we look back forward to the church, to our saints, and we remember this is only the beginning. We are called to go, to share our legacy with the world, which, if anything, goes all the way back to Christ. Continue to build upon the legacies in which have been passed back. Go and share the love and grace of Christ with all people. Pray these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.